Dr. Guerrero again, one more time. Now I'm going to talk about mummies and mummification. Mummies have been found on every continent, both as a result of natural preservation through unusual conditions and as cultural artifacts. Mummification is every part of the body that endures in time after death and does not undergo bacterial decomposition. One of the ways to form mummification is artificially, for example, the Egyptian mummy. So artificial mummification is a process that consists, consists of extracting all the viscera except for the heart, then dehydrating the body with sodium salts, and then spreading a special resin or wax and mirror on the skin. Another process is the natural way, for example, the Peruvian mummies. There are two natural processes. First, we have the dry and very hot, uh, hot climates, for example, in desert zones like Paracas. The body is dehydrated and soft tissues lose volume and are retracting, preventing bacterial decomposition. And the second way is cold and high altitude climates, climate, for example, uh, in the top of the Andes Mountains where there is little de dehydration of the body, the fat is saponified and the internal organs are perfectly preserved. Mummies were wrapped with animal furs and blankets. They were buried with their families, usually, usually in a special holes with, the, with their favorite foods, beverage, and their belongings. They were, they were prepared for the next life. Here we can see an X-ray of a mummy of a young girl wrapped with many, with many blankets in fetal position resembling the beginning of her life. These are some CT reformats of mummification in a dry and hot climate. We can see all internal, internal organs are dehydrated and they lose volume and retracts with the exception of the skin. We can see again more examples of this uh, axial CT where we can see all, almost the complete dehydration of the internal or organs. We see the bones and the skin that is preserved. This is a 3D CT scan reformation of a thorax where you can see dehydrated soft tissues as well as preserved hard tissues like the bones, trachea, and the skin. These are some examples of mummification in cold and freezing climate. You can see very little dehydration of the tissues. The fat tissue, as you can see here, is white because the process of saponification. And the organ are well preserved. We can see here the brain, the medulla, and the lung. Preservation of the internal organs, like the lungs, again, the liver, the pancreas, and the bladder. It's amazing how, how can we see the organs in this preservation way. This is an x-ray that shows a mummy of a well-nourished child and note the high density of the bone. This is an example of an x-ray showing signs of chronic osteomyelitis. We can see enlarged cortical layer, diffuse periosteal position, reduced medullar, medullary cavity, linear fracture, and the cloaca draining canal at the mid-chaff of this femur, as you can see in these x-rays. This is an x-ray where we can see a deformation in the dorsal spine caused by POTS disease. This is an excellent example that demonstrates that tuberculosis was not actually taken to Peru by the Spanish. And there is still more to discover about the Peruvian history. This is a picture of our famous historical site, Machu Picchu. Thank you very much for your attention.